Welcome to IELTS Energy TV. I'm your teacher, Aubrey Carter, and today I will teach you how to use the idiom push someone into doing something and how you can use it on the IELTS exam. Today's comment comes from one of our Instagram followers who said, Hi guys, I often see people saying push someone to do something. Is that a bad thing or a good thing? I don't know if it is like an incentive or obligation. This is a really good question because it can be either depending on the context and word use. We love the thoughtful, intuitive questions that are commented on our Instagram posts. We post every day and we have over 23,000 followers because we have tips and tricks for IELTS as well as new vocabulary and how to use it. If you're not following us yet, go to our Instagram account, Allers English, and click follow to make sure you're not missing any of this great content. Talking about being pushed to do something or pushing someone else to do something can definitely be used on IELTS speaking. When we say we push someone to do something, the meaning is that you're encouraging, motivating, or incentivizing someone. You could say, I pushed my friend to apply for a new job because he's always hated his. Or, my parents pushed me to study by rewarding me when I earned good grades. This meaning has a very positive connotation. Speaking part one might have questions asking you about a goal you have set for yourself or what you like to do with friends. You could talk about pushing yourself to accomplish a goal or pushing friends to be their best selves. Part two might ask you to describe a time you accomplished a goal or a time someone pushed you to accomplish something. Depending on the context, this idiom can have a negative connotation. In this case, we say we push someone into doing something. You might be pushed into doing something harmful or dangerous or something you don't want to do. A parallel expression is putting pressure on someone. Listen to these very similar sentences. The police pushed him to confess. The police pushed him into confessing. Such a small difference in structure and word choice, but a very big difference in meaning. The first means he was motivated or encouraged, while the second means he was bullied or forced. Use the phrase pushed into on IELTS. Anytime you're describing something you didn't want to do and were forced or someone put pressure on you to do it. A part two question might ask you to describe a time you visited a friend in another city. And you could describe the museums your friend pushed you into visiting when all you really wanted to do was go to the beach. Or maybe they pushed you into skydiving when that's the last thing that you wanted to do. A part three question or writing task two topic might ask about unnecessary force used by police officers to obtain confessions or the statistics of innocent people being convicted of crimes. And you could write about the circumstances that force someone into making a false confession. For daily posts with more great vocabulary and idioms, follow us on Instagram, All Ears English. And if you liked this video, click the like button and share it with a friend. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring real-time transcripts and vocabulary practice that will push your score higher. Plus, fun video lessons with Lindsay, Michelle, and Jessica. Download the app today at allearsenglish.com slash app.